in the latest Inside Star Citizen episode, they spoke about the upcoming update for mining in 319. We're going to go straight into it. Due to the player feedback and game system design for flexibility and iteration, the upcoming Alpha 319 is set to bring fixes and evolution to improve the way players make their fortune in the future. CIG previously thought that mining was in a good state, even after introducing the mining gadgets. The mining gadgets allow for different approaches to mining where players would have to leave their ship and attach their mining gadgets to a rock get back into their ship and then begin their mining procedure. This was intended to help with difficulty and giving new players an easier way of mining. However, they did not anticipate that expert miners will also need a challenge. Therefore, they made the adjustments to all items, mining head and sub items and mineables to balance the game better. They cleaned it up to make it a little bit clearer and more obvious on the pros and cons of each item and mining head. Furthermore, mineables themselves have different values in terms of resistance and instability. They have matched certain mining heads with specific resources such as aluminum and iron to make mining more efficient. Iron and ironism have been introduced as a ship exclusive mineables, while journalite is a resource found exclusively in caves and can only mine with the multi-tool. This is an effort to encourage players to try out the new caves and find new mineables as it's more profitable. They've also cleaned up the way the resources are distributed throughout Stanton. What this means is that they've made changes to the locations and quantities of resources that players can find when mining. This also creates a more realistic and balanced gaming experience. Previously, some locations had an overabundance of certain resources while others had very few. This made it difficult for players to plan mining trips and to find the resources they need to complete certain tasks and projects. With the changes, distribution of resources is more spread throughout the game world, making it easier for players to find what they need without having to travel long distances. This also allows for more variety in gameplay and encourage exploration of locations in the game. Leave a like, subscribe, I'll see you on the next video.